I'm pleased to be part of this 2024 edition of the World's Food Forum. <clears throat> this year, we convene under the theme, and I quote, good food for all, for today and tomorrow. This year's theme words carry a profound sense of urgency. Today, threats to global food security loom large, driven by the relentless impacts of climate change, ongoing conflicts, and deepening inequalities. This year's World Food Forum is not merely an opportunity to discuss these challenges. It is a call to action to ensure that every individual has access to safe, nutritious, and sustainable food now and in the future. We have set ourselves the noble mission of eradicating hunger by the end of this decade. However, hunger is not simply about scarcity. It is about the system we build or fail to build to ensure equity and access to food for all. We are already in a global food crisis with over 700 big people going to bed hungry each night. A grim reminder of our failure to address one of humanity's most basic needs. Even more alarming, nearly 3 billion people lack access to healthy, nutritious diets resulting in widespread mal malnutrition, preventable diseases, and stunted development. This crisis is not a distant threat. It is a harsh reality unfolding now. Exacerbated by climate change, conflict, and economic inequalities, if we cannot reverse this trend, the devastating human costs will be, will only continue to grow condemning millions to hunger, illness, and premature death. This is a crisis that we can and must address together. It would be an indictment against all of us if we fail to do so. I'm particularly concerned about the millions of innocent people in conflict zones without access to basic nourishment. They suffer not only from the trauma of conflict, but also from the consequential deprivation of basic access for food and water. Guyana stands with the global community in the quest to build more climate-resilient food ecosystems. As a nation that has faced the realities of rising sea levels and extreme weather events, we understand the importance of investing in building a resilient food ecosystem, one that is resilient, one that is sustainable, and one that can withstand the shocks of climate change. But we also know that no country can tackle these challenges alone. It requires global collaboration, significant investment, and need for the more rapid diffusion of innovative technologies. Ghana is transforming its agricultural sector by embracing sustainable practices and modern technologies. We're investing in climate smart agriculture and inviting partners from across the world to join us in making our region a model for sustainable and resilient farming. Central to this effort is the energy and creativity of our young people. They're destined to be the champion of new approaches that can increase productivity while minimizing environmental impacts. However, achieving good food for all cannot be accomplished through words alone. It requires sustained action and partnerships that unite governments, the private sector, civil society, young people, and women. We must boost food production, improve nutritional outcomes, and ensure that the benefits of a more productive food system reach those who are most vulnerable. This is the path from promise to productivity. Let us commit ourselves to building a food ecosystem that is not only productive, but also inclusive and just a system where every person, regardless of their circumstances, can access safe, nutritious, and culturally appropriate food. By prioritizing smallholder farmers, women, and those in conflict zones, we can create a future where good food for all is not just a vision, but a reality. Guyana stands with you in this effort. Together, we can turn the promise of good food for all for today and tomorrow into reality. Let us seize this opportunity, not just for ourselves, but for the millions who depend on our collective will 
to make a difference. In doing so, in building this, this food ecosystem, we must understand that the food ecosystem is not about agriculture alone. Agriculture is just but one component of the food ecosystem. The food e ecosystem must be able to address financing and the cost of financing, technology and access to technology, climate change and the consequential effects of uh, climate change, uh, changes in land fertility levels, nutrition and health programs, all of these, trade and trade barriers, all of these are component of the food ecosystem that we must address in a comprehensive and holistic way if we are to ensure that our food system is delivering safe, reliable, nutritious food to the people of this world and the people of our countries. In Guyana too, we have embarked on a strategic plan to ensure that by, by the time we get to 2030, at least 35% of all our farms, all our agro-businesses must be owned by women. And more than 50% must be owned by women and young people. This is important if we are to build sustainable, resilient agro-businesses. We have to ensure that women and young people are central to the development. For this to happen, we have to invest in the technology. We have to make agriculture more attractive. We have to invest in resilience, ensuring that the, the, risk, the risk of food production is reduced. These are some of the points I wish to share with you today. And I wish you a successful and impactful World Food Forum. I thank you and God bless all of you.